Hvordan er det pojkor og flikkor? Shit is getting real. Greenfield 1, staying right. Stand by for tasking. The situation is developing by the minute. A Russian task force has been spotted off the Jordan coast and is approaching. Shit is getting very real. Basically, the Russians are coming, and my vegan is alive. A fleet of Russian warships and transport ships are headed for the Georgian coast. Waiting for the little analog computer thingy to wake up. So, come on, baby, wake up. There you go. Okay. And we're loading in the cassette. Zero. Ah, I screwed it up. Punching four numbers is very hard. There you go. And. Done. There you go. But since I'm gonna use some weapons, I have to see. B3 is not a target waypoint, so I have to make that a target waypoint. No, we're gonna use B3. So we're gonna. Let's see. We're gonna go all the way there. In. Nine. And I guess back there. Let's see. Come on. This little button. Ah, oh, that's why. Ah, M3, yes. Success. So now we point three. Is a target waypoint. Sorry, Google Strange here. I think we can go. Springfield one stingray. The Russians are about to cross into Georgian waters. You are to take off, depart west. Await for your orders. Okie dokie. Ground crew. Can't request takeoff, okay. Breaks off. Breaking breaks off, and we're gonna go. The Norwegian F5s are also taking off. Seriously, we should have used F16s much, much better. In real life, we wouldn't send F5s. As far as I know, they didn't do any operative service outside of Norway. And we're rolling. Go and we're rolling. 
level 2 afterburner. Oh, a bit uncontrollable here, that's not good. Waiting for 250 kilometers an hour. Here we go, and full off the burner. I want that. And gears are up. Yep, gears up. Very important. Still on level 2 afterburner in this corner. Cars are still there, ready to take off. Slow bastards. And why don't I have a HUD? I don't have a HUD. Why don't I have a HUD? Special, so I can communicate with my wingman. I don't have a HUD. going crazy. Yes, I see the little black dots myself. I think those are the dots we're gonna attack. I think we're just gonna keep the RBO force E on that to let them do their thing. No point in overcomplicating stuff. Yes, yes. He's just gonna list every single black dot he sees, doesn't he? Yes, I can see them. And he doesn't even have that nice, sweet English voice. Only the scripted dialogue has uh, this regular core DCS thing doesn't have it. Uh. And we're gonna turn on to B2 now. Interesting when we get to M3, as I'm not really sure how to do shit. I don't think the Wimpo 3 is exactly on the enemy ships, so I have to move it. I watch videos, so I know theoretically how I'm supposed to do it, but you know. 
let's see how it works in practice. That's the little thing I used to move, I think. Little radar stick. Just watching the screen now. The enemy's out there someplace. Okay, the Russians are officially bad guys now. I'm just gonna follow the waypoints. somewhere <sighs> and we're turning in it will turn into M3 soon I think come on come on there you go, M3. Now. Now, my good chumps. Now we have to find out how to use that radar thingy. I have buttons mapped for the gain on the radar, but I don't remember which button those are. I'm flapping the stick around, I can't move it. Okay, I think I found it now. Had to check the mm, settings. And let's see. Come on. There. I think I had a little yellow ring around the bad guys now. Similar to modern radars like F-16 and F-18, simpler in many ways, easier to use. And let's get our guys to attack. Turn up to unfall. It's on attack. Now I just have to wait until we're in range. It's flying straight at them. Why are you already shooting missiles? Where are where the hell are you? Mine's still out of range. I have the ranging now, I'm still out of range. They should be between those two outer little tinies. Missiles. And they're within range. There you go. Where are they? Did both. They should both have gone with the, this one, this one, and there's the second one. Okay. 
Let's stay clear of those ships, we don't want to get shot down. Those are a lot of bleeping and blocking. I don't want that. I wonder if I hit if I hit anything. Can YouTube even see those ships? I don't know. Out there. Still trails from the mission. Yep, wheat sits. It will be interesting to see if I actually hit any. Let's go back to Nav. Let's go to waypoint four. Rejoin. Everybody's rejoining. Good stuff, good stuff. on me now there's still some scary beeping there's really not much I could do with a beeping if I thought they launched on me I could set on maximum afterburner and go low I don't have any countermeasures today Just heading for the we point four and going home and hope we did a lot of damage. Was a bit low there. Flying eighty meters above the water when you can't really even see where the water is, it's just grey. Grey zoop. I'm quite happy I managed to launch the RBO force. I do enjoy a good ship strike. It's too bad the F-16s in this game don't have the ship strike capability that Norwegian F-16s had. That would be fun, doing ship strikes with the F-16s. seems to be working. That's good. There you go. Sure. There we go. Sure plan. Everything is now standard. And we're getting closer to Kutasi, isn't it called? Yeah. Well executed strike, everything is perfectly normal. Spring to lofting ring. Kitaisi is under air attack. Divert to Sanaki or Kobileti if possible. Okay. That's not good. What's the frequencies for these things? Frequencies, please. Springfield 1, Stingray. 
We have lost contact with Sanaki. Divert okay. to Kobuleti. Well, I was planning going to Kobuleti anyway because I don't know where it is. Where the fuck are the... Frequencies on this thing. Well, I had to go to the briefing menu to find it. Luckily, it was a easy frequency. I think that's it. Yeah, okay, I don't, I'm not on that frequency anyway, so I don't know why I did that. They won't hear me, and they're under attack. Yeah, just... Still can't hit me. My Swedish part sounds very American. Okay. Let's over there. It was a short flight to redirect. Let's hope that one doesn't get attacked too. Springfield one one cleared for visual contact tower. Okay, contacting tower. This is what I don't understand. They never talk back to you when you say that. They just shut up and then right before you land they say, check gears. They should say, clear to land. Oh, well. Strange people. There's the strip. Now let's see if we can land this thing. The two previous missions haven't exactly had impressive landings. That one time I do blame my wingman, but not this time. Not this time. I haven't asked my wingman to or to be, so he's not gonna or they aren't. There's four of them in my flight now. They're gonna screw thing up. I have air brakes on. I don't really remember what speed I'm supposed to land the Viggen in. Springfield 1 1, go ready, check landing gear. Runway 07. There, that's easier. And I'm falling down here. That's not. Good. Come on, come on. Way too slow. Way too slow. I'm not gonna land in the cabbage patch. Where's the hell is that? Okay, this is going bad. This is going very badly. Come on. Just need to get down on that. Oh, oh, this is ugly. This is ugly. I used to be able to land this one so well. And down, brakes, and why are you doing that? Stop doing that! Stop, 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 stop! Oh shit, I'm dead. Whew. I'm not dead? Okay, I'm not really sure that's realistic, but I'm taking that as a win. The cockpit even works. Well, I just have to trust Heatbear did realistic weapon damage on this thing, and it's realistic that has arrived. See you later, guys. That was ugly.